Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to get snapshot filters on your webcam. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to snapcamera.snapshot.com. I will include a link in the description. Once you're there, you're gonna click download. You're gonna check out the system requirements. Make sure you meet the requirements, otherwise it won't work. Although I'm saying that, but I'm running Windows 8 and it works. So I don't know. <laughs> the best way to know if it's gonna work is to try it. Of course, read the privacy policies, accept, confirm that you're not a robot, enter your email and click on download for your operating system. As you can see, it also works for Mac. Once it's done downloading, just click on the setup file and install it. At the end of the install, make sure you check launch snap camera and it should launch the program. Now, as you can see here, it already detected my webcam, but you can go in options and select the specific webcam that you want to use. After that, you can click on the filters and it will apply them. It's that simple. It actually creates a new camera source so you can use it in Discord or Skype, even though I didn't get it to work on Discord for some reason. But in any other program, you can actually get it to work by just selecting it in the settings. Now, I know most of my subscribers are streamers. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can add it on your broadcasting software. Here, we're going to be using Streamlabs OBS, but it will also work with OBS Studio and it should work with XSplit. So first, I will click add new source. I will select video capture device I will name that video capture device snap cam and in device I will scroll down and click on snap camera and there you see I will have a new camera with the filters applied so technically that's all you need to really broadcast it but there is more options with the twitch extension and we'll show that next so when you're in the program there will be a twitch icon top right so just click on it it will ask you to open up twitch from there, it will open a browser with your Twitch and the page to authorize the program. From there, it will ask you to add the extension to your Twitch channel. Just click continue, it will bring you to the page directly. From there, you will have all the information on the extension. From what I've gathered, the best, like the most appealing part of this is that subscribers can actually change your lens, which will make it interactive with your Twitch chat. So click install and then you're pretty much done next time you're streaming the extension will appear on screen and there will be a snap code for specific filters and there will be options to subscribe in order to change your filters you do have twitch extension settings where you can activate the subscription lenses you can enable it for resubs and you can choose your favorite lenses to be used with the subs and resubs so if you want to change the filters all you have to do is open up the snapcam app and click on the filters but you can also set shortcuts for them well that's generally all there is to it if you guys have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below i will be using this on my stream on twitch.tv slash level i will put some social media here and uh, other than that i got some news from pulsoid there are the company that i use for my heart rate monitor uh, if you want to watch the heart rate monitor video i will put something up here and they have a new option to figure out the best moments of your twitch stream depending on your heart rate which is awesome so check that out and i realize how ridiculous i look so i'm gonna see you guys next time thank you so much for watching get level out <laughs>